Machine learning has a little known feature called categorization. Let's learn how it works. Categorization is automatically grouping similar log messages together into the same kind of category. It's done via an algorithm that looks at string similarity and clusters similar log messages together. You'd want to do this because we need to bring structure to otherwise semi-structured data so that it can be analyzed. And the real benefit here is that we can find anomalies in log files without knowing exactly what they contain. Let's look at an example. Here I have a log file from a Linux system. How would categorization work on this? Well, the first step is that machine learning would take and remove what I'll call mutable text from the messages. This is text that's likely to change, IP addresses, timestamps. Ultimately, what we want to do is we want to filter those out and then move on to step two, which is to cluster those similar messages together. So if we look at this, we can see that there are a variety of different categories that can exist here, some of which have just maybe one log line that's in that category, or others, like category six, can have several examples in there where the wording is just slightly different. So now, since we have those categories identified, what we can do is we can count them for every time interval. So for example, in the first time bucket, we may see one occurrence each of the first three category types. Similarly, in the second bucket, we would see one occurrence of category four, five, and six. And then in the third bucket, perhaps we see four occurrences of category six and so on. So we're just tracking the occurrence rate of these different categories over time. And of course, we want to do anomaly detection if there is an unexpected spike of a certain type of category. So let's see a little bit of a demo. Inside of Kibana here, I can see a log file that's been ingested. It has a timestamp and a message field. And again, the message field is pretty much arbitrary text. When we go to machine learning, what we need to do when we create a new job is to point at that particular index where that data exists, go to the advanced job option, and in here, after we give the job a name, we're going to go over to the analysis configuration and select which field of the document is going to be the field that we actually want machine learning to categorize. So if there happened to be more than one field, we would pick that. In this case, there is only one field of interest, and that's the message field. Once that's done, when we go to the detector, we add a new detector here, we can just select the analysis that we want. In this case, I'm going to do a count of messages by ML category. Now this field, ML category, gets magically created once categorization is signified. So again, you would not normally see this field if you weren't doing categorization, but because we put the categorization field name in, then this ML category field now shows up. Okay, so let's just add that in, save the job, and when we start the data feed and let it run through, what will happen is machine learning will, again, do all those things that we talked about in the presentation. And when I click on the result, I'll see what I get here for the analysis. And we found a few anomalies here. In this case, this is for our ML category number 20. And there was some uh, potential here, maximum authentication attempts. Let's look at some other ones here and too many authentication failures, and so on. You can see these are all different category types. And again, the idea here is that without really knowing what to look for in the log messages, machine learning has automatically found very, very interesting authentication anomalies here. So again, this is something that is relatively easy and straightforward to take advantage of if you have semi-structured log lines that you don't really know what to look for in. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.